to Handmade at Home. We're the Crafty Lumberjacks. If you're like us, during this time of year, you like to purge, go through your stuff, and get organized. Okay, what we mean is you like to get all your stuff and then find other places to hide them so you feel organized. Yes, and one place that we love hiding all our miniature craft supplies and clutter is in this little box right here. Yes, we got this at a big box store and we've kept it clean for years and we thought, why not give it a glow up? Yes, this way hopefully will help us get organized and stay organized. Let's get started. We're gonna try to keep this really easy using stuff that we already have in our apartment. Yes, and we're just gonna give it a really easy paint job and add some handles. We're actually gonna flip these drawers around and paint on the back side and then attach the handles to the back side. Since we're turning these around to the back, I marked out the center and I'm taping off uh, the centerpiece there. And we're actually gonna do a little triangle design. And I'm just mapping out my design with painter's tape. Yeah, the great thing about this is you really can do whatever you want. Make it your own. Designers, make it work. Make it work. <laughs> yes. So we have our top row here, our second row, and our third row. For the second row, we're going to do the same thing that we did for the first row, which is find our center point and tape down. And then actually for our third bottom row of shelving, we're going to mimic the top row. Very confusing, but when you see it, it's very easy. I'm like trying to figure it out in my head. I'm like, I know, I'm like, I wait a second, what's happening? What, what is happening? I'm getting confused. I'm getting confused. We have our first triangles taped out. Yes. It's kind of confusing. Kind of confusing. <laughs> I'm so confused right now. But I think once we start painting, it's really gonna like make a lot more sense. Yes, I'm gonna let him paint. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're starting to paint and it's going well so far. A tip I like to think of is before you paint, press down the painter's tape and then start your brush on the painter's tape and paint away from it, not towards it because then the paint can creep under it and you won't get as crisp of a line. Now we're using chalk paint for this just because we had it, but you could easily use acrylic or whatever you have at home. I am really trying not to put too much on my brush. I'm someone when I like, when I paint, I like to load a lot on my brush, but I'm really trying not to, just to give it nice um, light coat first and then see how it goes. I feel like it's a lot easier to do a really thin light coat than to gloop it on and then go back from there. All right. All right. Moment of truth here. Oh okay. Oh my gosh. Ooh, so satisfying. Yes. Look at that. We're gonna peel off all our painter's tape. Yes. And then uh, do the same thing on the other side with an upside down triangle. Sure. It's looking pretty good. So now I'm gonna do the reverse upside down triangle, doing the same thing, taping in the center there. And now it's easy because I can line up on my mark that I made earlier and also the bottom of this triangle. And then we're doing a triangle in the opposite direction here. So going corner to the center of the painter's tape. That'll make it look funky and fresh. Ooh. Cause that's how I roll, you know. So cute, yes. it's amazing what a little paint can do. So true, okay, for the handles, we have some faux leather that we're gonna cut into straps and then attach with some rivets. We think it's gonna work. That's how. Yeah. All right, for the handles, I'm just gonna cut strips of the faux leather here. I love working with uh, cutting mats and rulers because it's all a grid, so it's super easy to use. I'm just doing a little over a half an inch. And then once we have these cut here, I'm just going to fold it over, eyeball the center, and uh, punch it with a little puncher here. And it will make it easier for us to attach the rivets to it. Before we add our handles, we're going to drill a hole so that we can get our rivets right in there. I'm going to lay a piece of painter's tape in the center just to protect the wood. We did all that hard work, that waiting and painting and taping, so we don't wanna damage it or ruin it when we drill. I'm going to find the center here. And then we already figured out that we need to go in about an inch and a half for our holes for our rivets. So I'm just gonna mark that here. 
and then mark it on this side. And now we're just going to drill carefully and slowly. And it's time to add our handles. Ooh. So now you do this like any rivet. It comes with the tools. Um, this one fits in just past the, the, the wood there. And actually it's a really tight fit. I don't even know if we need to do the back, uh, but we're going to. Place it on. So, so cute. Well, this came out better than we expected. I think it's going to give us the motivation to stay organized all year long. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> well, at least it looks cute. We want to hear about any furniture upgrades you're working on. Let us know in a comment below. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. -bye.